Comparing patrol officers to detectives is like comparing a bird to a drone. They're completely different, but they're both pretty fly. Hey guys, what's going on? I am super excited about being able to film today. I thought I was going to be working late, so this is a nice little surprise. I wanted to crank out a video for you guys. I was scared that uh, I wasn't going to be able to get one out before the weekend was over. I know a few of you have been looking forward to a video like this, and I feel like now I have a pretty good taste of what being a detective is like. People are going to be like, Officer 401, you've only been a detective for three weeks. What do you know about it? I can't go into details of my cases, but trust me, it has been nonstop since I've been back there. I've had to learn a ton of stuff in the last three weeks. So allow me to explain the differences between patrol officers and detectives. So some of you might think you wanna be a detective, but I'll give you both the good and the bad that I've seen about it so far. If you are the type of person that likes having a set schedule, being a detective is definitely not for you. Believe it or not, we are not eight to four. Those might be your set hours on paper, but depending on where you work, there's gonna be at least three or four days out of the week where you might stay until seven, eight, nine, midnight. It just depends on what's going on. You're gonna get called out on the weekends. You're gonna get called out while you're deep in sleep. I'm halfway through my training now. So that means I am on call for 24 hours a day, seven days a week throughout the entire training period. And even if you're not on call, if something huge happens, they're calling everybody out. And not everyone's like me. I am not ashamed to admit I am a dick when I don't get enough sleep. It sucks when you work all day long and you get home, you get relaxed, uh, you might have eaten, you already showered, and you're just a few minutes from going to bed because you can barely keep your eyes open. Then all of a sudden your phone rings and boom, you're gone. And you might be gone another five hours, six hours, 10 hours. It just, again, it's one of those things where it just depends on what's going on. Patrol is completely different because unless you get a call right before the end of your shift and have to stay over, uh, most of the time you're gonna be getting off when you're supposed to get off. When you get home, you don't have to worry about being called out or anything. You can turn off your phone. Whatever you wanna do, you can do. The only time you might get a work-related call is if you're also on the SWAT team and you guys get a SWAT call out, or if a lieutenant calls about a report, maybe he asks questions. But honestly, that's pretty rare. Unless you're a screw up and you can't write a report, then it's probably not gonna be so rare. There are two huge differences between patrol and detectives though. The first one is paperwork. Patrol just thinks that they have a lot of paperwork to do. When a patrol officer gets a report, they basically go out, they fill out notes on a little notepad, and then they go back to the station, they open up their reporting program on the computer, and basically they have to type a narrative saying who, what, when, where, why, how, stuff like that, and that's it, they're done. They submit it, uh, their lieutenant or sergeant or whatever will review their report, and they can either reject it and send it back to the officer with a message of like how to correct it or what corrections need to be made, or they can approve it so that the people that filed the report, the courts, or really anybody uh, can have access to it from that point. A lot of times if there's a property crime, like a bunch of things were stolen in a house or whatever, uh, they usually have like a different tab in the reporting program to where you can enter in all the property, the property's owner, stuff like that. So stuff like that does take a little bit of time, but it's still nothing compared to being a detective. Detectives are assigned cases based on what patrol submits. So to give an example, the supervisor over the detectives division, they can basically come in and they can look at a list of all the reports in the past 24 hours or week or whatever they set it for. And they can basically filter different things. Like if I wanted to find all the property crimes or if I wanted to find uh, just simple thefts or if I wanted to find all the assaults, we can filter those. Then the supervisor will review each one of those down the line. And if they think that an investigation should be or can be conducted on that, they can assign it out to one of their detectives. So basically, whenever they put a case file on your desk, there might be four or five pages, which is like the, the officer's basic report. And the narrative isn't usually that long. That's just like, you know, the involved, like who might've been involved and stuff like that. The way the program lays it all out on the paper, uh, your reports, you're not gonna be typing four or five pages of reports very often. Here's where the paperwork sucks. You might get a case file with four or five pages in it. By the time you're done with it, it could have anywhere from 30 to over 100 pages in it. So where patrol does step A and B, you're gonna take it over and do C all the way down to Z. On top of having to do that investigation, you might have 10 more cases stacked up on your desk. You might have 30. 
It just depends on how busy your department is. Now you guys can kind of see where the intimidation factor comes in with the paperwork. Patrol doesn't have time to follow through with investigations like that because they're basically going call to call to call. And then at the end of the night or in the morning or whenever your shift is, um, a lot of times they'll bring that group in to do all their reports. So the officers will log on to the computer, they'll flip through all their notes, and they basically just type their reports based on what they remember from their notes. And that's assuming you don't get a call in the middle of it and you have to jump up, leave the computer, log off, and haul ass to whatever's going on. And this kind of leads me into the second difference between uh, being a street cop and being a detective. Considering the fact that patrol officers go call to call to call like that, they never really take the time to, or they don't really have the time, to build a relationship with the victims of these crimes. You feel sorry for them, don't get me wrong, but you don't really get to know them. Hell, when you sit down to do your report that you took like five hours ago, you might not even remember it. But then once you start reading your notes, it all starts coming back to you and you type it out and it's done. Being a detective is very, very different. Once you get a case, you're going to be working with the victim for, it might be a week, it might be two weeks, it might be a month, it might be over a year, depending on how long the case is open. And it's really weird because you build this like relationship with that person because you get to know them so well. It might be an old man that got robbed, it might be a business owner whose business was burglarized the night before, um, it might be somebody that's passing off bad checks in someone else's name and now they're out a few thousand dollars. It just, it, it could be anything. But either way, you're going to get to know that person very well and, uh, and like I said, you build that relationship with them. You build that rapport. Either way, you're gonna be really close with these people and they're depending on you to utilize your training and your resources to try to catch whoever's doing this. But then you find a suspect or you might have several and one by one, you start eliminating them. Then before you know it, you've been working all week long, right? You've been staying over until 10, 11 at night, midnight, one in the morning, however long it takes. But now after working all week and putting in all those hours and everything else, you have narrowed down your search to one guy. And that's the only guy that possibly could have done it. You learn about him, you study him. You even know where his sister went to high school. You learn about his parents, you learn where he was born, you learn his favorite foods, you learn his childhood family dog's name. The funny thing is he has no idea that you are watching him. He has no idea that you're getting closer and closer to catching him. Even patrol officers have no idea what you have gone through to find this person. So now everything that you have worked on becomes personal. Now you're determined to find your suspect. And now you are the one that personally wants to put him in jail. The feeling that you get when you're hunting somebody that is trying to dodge you and the feeling you get when you finally catch that person, I can't, I can't even describe it. It's the biggest rush you've ever had. The moment you capture them, you sit them down and you sit across from them and see them you're going to get goosebumps. In your head, you're thinking, this is the guy from all those surveillance videos I saw, pictures I saw, mug shots I saw. Then you're gonna be like, wow, he's actually in front of me right now. You're gonna be sitting there and smiling at him while you say his first name. The reaction on their face is priceless when you start naming off things like where they went to high school, who their sister is, their favorite childhood food. They are gonna be totally shocked that you know all this information about them. The best part though, is when you call the victim of one of these crimes and you explain to them that the person who basically turned their life upside down is not gonna be a problem again. They thank you over and over and you can almost hear them jumping for joy on the other side of the phone, dude, it is awesome. It's even better when you can find their stolen property and actually give it back to them. So all in all, I could keep going on with the differences. So you know what, maybe I'll make a part two. This is already gonna be a pretty long video. So if you guys wanna see a part two, let me know. And uh, if you have any ideas or questions based on what you've heard in this video, just leave them in the comments section below and I'll see if I can address those next time. And I will try to think of some other differences between patrol officers and detectives. I had a really cool interaction the other day, man. I got a phone call from a buddy of mine and he's like, hey man, can you do me a favor? I'm like, sure, what's up? He's like, man, my daughter watches you on YouTube and I just found this out the other day. And apparently like you and a few others, um, she watches religiously and she doesn't believe that I actually know you. So is there any way that you would be willing to talk to her on the phone for just a couple of minutes? And I was like, oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, hell yeah. So he puts her on the phone and she is like the sweetest little girl. And you could tell that she was extremely shy, like she didn't know what to say. I introduced myself. I said, yes, I know your dad. Um, and then I asked her, I was like, do you have any questions for me? Dude, she was completely silent. She had no idea what to say whatsoever. So I ended up telling her, I tell you what, 
write all your questions down on a piece of paper. I'll call you again, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, and you can ask me those questions. And she was so polite. She was like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Such a sweetheart, man. That was a really cool interaction. That, that totally made my day. But anyway, guys, like I said, I just wanted to thank you for the support, as always. Um, unfortunately, my video releases are going to become more and more unpredictable with this schedule. But hopefully, once I'm out of training, I'll be on a more consistent schedule, and uh, I'll be able to... Uh, release videos like I was before. But thank you again, guys, and I hope to see you very soon.